My name is A1C Eduardo Clemente, and uh, we are Avionics Back Shop. Our system is called 131 ECM Pod. Uh, they're, they go underneath the F-16. ECM pods are used to uh, jam anything uh, radar related. And that's basically what we do. We uh, maintain them and we calibrate them. Uh, this morning we, uh, we had a uh, pod, an ECM pod that was uh, do its PMI, uh, its periodic inspection. Um, we were basically uh, mounting it to our test station and we are just making sure that the pod is reading any threat to its full capability. I always remember uh, when I was an FTAC in Ulsan, I was, talking to, uh, uh, I was talking to a pilot and I asked him what he thinks about our pods and he told me that one time he was flying and if it weren't for our ECM pods, he probably would have made it home. That's what kept me uh, motivated on making sure that every pod is calibrated correctly and that every pod is fully mission capable. Uh, there's a lot of people that I talk to and they don't know what we do in here. We work a lot, we work hard. It's not a simple job. It takes a lot of dedication, a lot of patience, a lot of mind. For those who don't know, for those who don't know what we do in here, we basically maintain and calibrate ECM pods that help our pilots come back home. There are numerous amounts of working systems, gears, parts, and components that make up the powerful B1B Lancer. One avionics shop in particular uses their technical expertise and a little bit of what most would consider something short of magic to get the offensive and defensive capabilities ready to rock for the B1. The avionics maintainers on the line, they pull the LRUs once they've determined what's wrong with the jet. We bring them to our shop, we hook them up on our test stations that simulate the functions on the jet and enable us to troubleshoot the units. These vital systems ensure that when our B1s are completing their missions, they are protected from any electronic threat that may attempt to take them down. Because it is an essential component of the B1, these systems are constantly needing testing and repairs. With such a high demand for this system, the team at the 7th Component Maintenance Squadron put their heads together and got innovative. We went from one test station running them, we eventually moved to two, and then we modified that third so we could run across three stations at once. I mean, we went from close to 100 awaiting maintenance. We're down into single digits now, so everything is working much better now than it was in months past. Simply put, it was a bit of rekeying, rewiring, and coding that allowed the radar electronic warfare section to test an additional transmitter, which was previously limited to testing only two at a time. This simple innovation saved the Air Force over $11.8 million and created a 50% increase in production. In 2016, the final production count tallied at 127 serviceable units. The team is only halfway through 2017 and have already produced 136 transmitters. There are aspects of every operation that can be streamlined to work better and it's a matter of honing in on those things and just making it happen because nothing that we've done has been extremely difficult to get accomplished. It's just a matter of the initiative and figuring out exactly what we needed to do and going forward with it. Before this innovation, the high demand required airmen to work the first two weekends of the month. Their hard work and innovation earned the airmen back their free time. Reporting from Dias Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class, Susan Roberts. So for our day shift, parts start coming in, you hook them up, get them ran, kind of figuring out exactly what would be wrong with the part and what we need to do to fix it. So we have the highest workload out of any active duty uh, avionics back shop and we produce the most serviceable parts. Our high return to serviceability rate ensure that there's uh, more jets that are functioning at a time so we can send out more people. We won the 2022 Maintenance Group Small Team of the Year Award because we have the highest active duty workload and we screened 659 parts last year and returned 78% to serviceability. My favorite part about working here is the group of people. I love everybody I work with and our leadership's great. <laughs>